So it's a new day and there's further evidence supporting Tara Reid's claim that Joe Biden sexually assaulted her. So checked out a article from Business Insider. I'll link it, link it I should say, in the description box down below. But they, uh, a former neighbor of Tara Reid um, basically came out and said that either in 1995 or 96 that Tara Reid disclosed this um, sexual assault allegation or told, told the neighbor I should say that she was sexually assaulted um, by by Joe Biden and the Business Insider looked it up found out yes they were in fact neighbors during this time um, in the 90s and this this neighbor um, I forgot her name but you can read the article and find that out if it matters I don't think the name obviously really matters it's what she's saying and it's backed up by all of these other you know people so we now have the former neighbor saying that Tara Reid disclosed you know to her about the sexual assault allegation we have her mother her brother a friend we have um, Tara Reid's mom going on Larry King live in August 11th 1993 the same month that Tara Reid says she was sexually assaulted by Joe Biden and we have after Tara Reid tried to report you know the sexual harassment to higher ups within the um, you know Biden Senate office that her duties overseeing these um, you know uh, Senate interns within the Biden office were taken away as well as um, uh, after after this after working in Biden's office and you know um, you know quitting because of the sexual harassment and subsequent sexual assault she went and worked for um, a California state senator and somebody within that office also disclosed that um, she had said that she had been either sexually uh, harassed or assaulted in her former um, you know place place of employment so I mean we have all of these pieces supporting the narrative and the conclusion that we should obviously be taking these allegations very seriously investigating them to the fullest you know extent possible because this is I mean it's hugely disgusting illegal immoral unconscionable a huge abuse of, of power again Joe Biden was a powerful senator she was a staffer working in his Senate office and he just presumed well and she and Tara Reid said this check it out in the Katie Katie Helper um, podcast where she um, interviewed Tara that basically Joe Biden you know after it's like oh man I, I, I heard I heard you like me this this don't don't worry about it. it's gonna be okay and then he also said like you don't mean anything to me so just like totally just degrading unethical immoral disgusting illegal obviously like total violation of her bodily autonomy by pushing Tara Reid up against the wall and digitally penetrating her without any type of consent whatsoever hugely hugely disgusting we should again call out this just I mean it's hard to describe how just wrong sexual abuse sexual assault is we should obviously call it out if it's a Democrat if it's a Republican if it's a democratic socialist if it's a communist if it's a libertarian if it's an anarchist whatever no matter your political affiliation no matter how do you, you identify politically this should be called out condemned and investigated to the fullest 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 extent but a lot of Democratic, um, you know, centrist party hacks aren't willing to do that. People like Alyssa Milano, who scrubbed the, um, I think the Me Too hashtag from her Twitter profile because it didn't suit her political ends anymore. She was all about it when it was about, you know, Brett Brett Kavanaugh and you know, Harvey Weinstein and Donald Trump and all that stuff. But oops, uh, I support Joe Biden for president, and I don't have any type of consistent ethical or moral baseline so we're just gonna let this one slide you know it's if the media thought this was serious they would be investigating it and all this stuff saying that tar reads you know like some type of Russian plant and all this bullshit to try to make up excuses for them not you know investigating this and taking it seriously it's hugely disgusting and immoral and really shows how corrupt a lot of um, 
you know, celebrity Me Too type people are, along with a lot of people within the Democratic establishment, and that obviously includes the corporate media. I haven't seen, you know, Joe Biden been at, hasn't been asked any questions about this, and he's he's been on, you know, a lot of, I mean, not a lot, but he's been on these, you know, various media outlets and shows, whether it's, you know, MSNBC, CNN, ABC, you know, whatever, still have yet to bring this up, and again, the the evidence is almost overwhelming at this point to not ask him about it and to not take this you know as seriously as possible again the neighbor confirms it her mom had confirmed it her brother a friend a staffer in the california senate office um her mom called into the larry king live show at the same time that tara reed said she had been sexually assaulted in august of 1993 i mean jesus christ i don't know what else the mainstream media and these um, you know, blue no matter who hacks need to need to see or be shown in order to actually do what's necessary and call out Joe Biden and try to hold him accountable to try to get some type of justice for Tara Reid. And then also it needs to be pointed out, Tara Reid, um, I think it was earlier in 2020, 2020 or 2019 she went to the Times Up Legal Defense Fund to try to get help with this to try to tell them you know what had happened with the with regards to being sexually assaulted by Joe Biden and like uh well it's actually you know we're a nonprofit Joe Biden's a politician this could jeopardize our nonprofit status obviously that's a huge uh you know can of bullshit and they didn't do that because one of their one of Biden's top advisors, um, at, I believe at the firm is SDK Knickerbocker, they, they are connected with the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, and so there's obviously a huge conflict of interest there. That's why they didn't investigate it. She's tried to give the story to other media outlets in the past. They didn't want to touch it either because they're also, um, you know, corrupt party hacks who are willing to look the other way when it serves their political interests. So, I mean... This shit needs to be called out, investigated to the fullest extent. Again, whether it's Trump, whether it's Brett Kavanaugh during the Supreme Court nominations, whether it's Joe Biden and he's, you know, running for president. It's hugely, hugely disgusting and disturbing that he hasn't been held account for this. And we'll we'll see if he does. I mean, he's he's not getting my vote. I'm not I don't agree with voting for the lesser of two rapists. I'm sorry.